Hey, this is Samara, signing on with Samora of Virginia. Okay, now, last time I had finished the game, and that was about it. Then, thinking about it kept bugging me, so I debated it for a while, decided to go back for one more go-around in the town of Kingdom. Um, after doing some reading, trying to figure out, like, how to interpret how the game ended, which, by the way, this is, like, part three, so, you know, watch the other two parts if you want the story, because spoilers ahead. But, in front of been reading different interpretations and people trying to, like, figure it out, and, um, basically where we got... Basically, some things I saw, there's, might have been some interactions I missed, and just going from start to finish might help explain a couple of things that might have gotten overlooked and maybe might make more sense of things. So I figured let's go back in again, start from the start, and, you know, just go from the beginning and try and figure out how we can piece the story together a little bit more clearly. I've already got some ideas and we went over some last time, but going back through, showing scene by scene, like how things could be corrected, but we'll get there. So, yeah, I'm playing a bunch of, it's been a couple of days since I've been recording, so I thought this whole walking sim thing would be easy, but here I am replaying one of them again. 1992, they have been doing the investigation in a small town in Virginia. Based on official record of events, the following story has been written. Bleh. Sorry. I'm not trying to be dismissive. This is just my second go around. It's going to be very, like, you know, probably around the same pace. <clears throat> Is either replay this or play either one, which I'll get to that afterwards. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, that's right. This game begins with a long opening um, credits crawl. Okay. <clears throat> but just going over what we've seen. <clears throat> Sorry. Going over what stuff happened last time at the end, basically we got two different endings. One where um, our main character, Anne, through pretty much every other most minority um, employees from the FBI under the bus, so she could get promoted um, and then just pat pay it forward, basically. Or, you know, basically like give up her job in order to protect a friend and give them a little closure. And we drug tripped out and saw a bunch of stuff that there's no way she could have seen and got a di bunch of different, you know, basically like ideas put in our heads. So, you know, just going back through, just, yeah, I don't know where to begin. I forgot about this opening crawl. That's why I was hesitant about replaying this, because it's just going to be going over stuff we've already done. But... I figured going in through again, maybe trying to find a little more interaction, because I apparently missed a ton of trophies, and doing a quick, like, go-through, apparently there was, like, a lot of small interactions I really missed. So yeah, that's just why we're going in again. Gotta get a new headset. Okay, unrelated. <laughs> okay. So that's... It's hard to tell by the darkness, but that should have been Anne's dad basically locking up evidence. And we'll just leave that at that for now. This will look, again, this will let me re-see some scenes and see if I can find something out. So, you know, there's our girl Anne, who's, you know, about to graduate from the FBI. Still weird that she only carries lipstick with her. <laughs> Who knows? At this point, ba based on how the game ended, that could be like... <laughs> it's probably not at all what it is, but it's probably like the lipstick's probably laced with LSD. <laughs> Probably not at all what is going on. Okay. So, yeah, we're just still in our, um, you know, uh, wide aspect ratio, widescreen. Seek back license. Hold on. 
Just taking a look around. Okay. So, yeah, just go through again, see if anything gets noticed, because there were a lot of threads that really didn't get, you know, nothing is overtly explained throughout this whole thing, but more so than usual, there were some things that just didn't add up. Alright. Try to look, be a little more observant. So apparently there's, were mainly, I guess I missed like a couple of other interactions, but it didn't really matter that much, and I don't know if this will either. <sighs> Sorry. Trying to get into it today. And you, you were the lady at the desk. You're doing stuff with the boss. It's not me being dismissive, it's what's going on. Still waiting. You gotta help me. Also, I think there was a trophy for just, you know, starting a new game. So going through a second time. So I'm also wondering if anything's gonna change the second time around. I doubt it, but I'm interested. Muffled heartbeat monitor. Okay, right. I forgot about that. But this must have been her dad's um, heartbeat monitor. Because I got really confused thinking, like, perceptions were mixed up. No, it's, you know, both um, Anne and, um, uh, oh God, what was Ortega um, both had sick parents. So, just trying to figure this out. We get step by step, loud truck going by. Thanks, guy. Creek. Oh, Jesus. Forgot about that. No, this has to be us. And the closet. Dream. I'm just gonna let it ring. Let the torch commence. Alright, and the broken key, which now that explains more, you know. If that was her dad's, that explains why she has it. <sighs> Sorry, a lot of dust on my desk. I gotta clean up a bit more. But you know, that all happens so fast. The thing with these, games like this, they're short enough where they can warrant a second playthrough pretty easily because, you know, you get invested in the story, you forget little, like, incidental things that happen along the way, like I did. So it was just sort of like, you know, suddenly the door and the key at the beginning of the game at the very beginning, the first thing you see is guilt, basically. And that suddenly makes a lot more sense now. Alright, don't need that. I was wondering, last time I think I grabbed the um, badge First, the name tag. So if you do that in different orders, does it change anything at all? A bit of fun little detail, but I guess not. It disappeared. Oh wait, no, it's still in there. No, that's my shoe. No, it's still in there. Never mind. Okay, yeah, so, you know, nice little transition. And the key is gone and the clock is fixed. Or adjusted. 
So, you know, she's got it with her. I think about it. Why is that key broken? Did she just do it after she found the thing? Or did it just, like, happen? I don't know. Not that it would matter. You destroyed the evidence. You don't need the box. I was hoping to steal somebody's bike. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Okay. Hey. Are you one of the guys I throw under the bus or um, later in the alternate ending? Okay. Okay, is there anything else to actually interact with over here? You know, there ain't much to just, like, interact with. Like, it's very obscure what you can and can't really mess with in some cases. So, I don't know if there's something here. I think it's later on. I read a couple of things, but I don't know what else we can actually do. Southern colored thing. Okay. <sighs> You're just doing your thing. getting there, so this is just going to be a process. We can see the file he's reading. We know too much now. Unplug your stuff, just to be mean. Okay. Sorry, we'll get there. Cord? Also, there's even stuff about cord we don't know. Uh, Special Agent Ann Tarver has been tasked monitoring agent document any suspicious activity. Yeah, that's another... Yeah, we didn't... You know, got very confusing at first. That was a big complaint I saw from people who actually really liked the game, is that early on, you do not really know what you're doing because that goes by so fast. Like, I... You know, you hear the dramatic sting music build up, and it's just sort of like, oh... What does it all mean? And then it just kind of like cuts so fast. So there are certain spots where you just like cannot absorb information enough before you kind of get like shunted on to the next section. We're gonna walk backwards into a transition. Yeah. It's kind of hoping we'd be still facing backwards. So, now we're going to check in with Ortega. <sighs> Sorry. You know, that's another just weird thing the more I think about it. Why is her bit... Why is her office set up here? You know, I know she's under suspicion, but, you know, what has she done wrong to warrant, like, you get the basement, the basement office. Or is it just because, you know, minority and so get, treat them like, treat them like dirt. Halperin, Halperin, I keep forgetting. There's our boy, who may have been abducted by aliens, may have been killed by his dad, and maybe were shot by an Air Force 
someone from the Air Force. Don't know, I've got thoughts. We're blocking it. Okay. Let's see if we can mess with anything. Okay. You don't like me now, but we'll be best friends. <laughs> You want to shut your projector off? Flee. <laughs> okay, that's one thing we could interact with. Great. Added so much. It's like, I guess there are small things you can do like that, where you can just like, poke a few things, and that's kind of like, yeah. It almost seems like there's a trophy for any little, you know, most things you can interact with. But, like, the flowers, I don't remember getting trophies. I haven't edited any of my walking sim videos yet. No, I've done gone home. Well, either way. Entering Kingdom. Just checking. Yeah, we're at lookout point. Again, I do like this map. It's a nice little detail. Yeah, just looking at the like the little sugar packet. Is that it? I missed her name. The creep. Okay. So yeah, she's just talking to them. Yeah, so yeah, the dad diddling with kids, teenagers, well, still kids. Anyways, you know, messing with them, and Lucas found out, mayhaps... He's the reason he disappeared, or at least ran away. Maybe didn't kill him outright, but certainly stints look good. Apparently there's a trophy for comforting her, but I don't know when, maybe later? Okay, there's a feather here. I guess maybe there are collectible bird feathers throughout the game. That's one of the major things. Just checking. I thought there was something in there. Okay. Oh, right, we gotta crawl through. Okay, so. Oh, 
Hold on, I think that's the important thing. Now, yeah, water tower. Is that a picture of just somebody? Bird. Oh, that's the outside of the pipe. That's in, like, the range of the Air Force Base. So we know he's been there. And with this girl, she's... She's one we have not seen much of. She's, like, appeared in some spots. But we've never... You know, she's not with the teenage group of teenagers or anything. Okay. What? Brr. Don't scoff at me, just watch the road. So yeah, that's the curious thing. So there's just like this other girl that we have we that is keeps getting shown but no one's ever interacted with her, and that's another thing that confuses me. Because she was in, like, in the crack of the door after Lucas got caught by his dad, and if I recall, she was with, also with him when, uh, also with him when the alien abduction happened? Yeah, we found a pizza menu. That's important. I'll put her away for good. <laughs> Just see if there's anything else I can interact with. Grab her bag? No. Hallerpin Maria Ortega. Keep calling her Ortega because I couldn't remember the first name, but it was Maria. All right. All right. Very productive, guys. <clears throat> yeah, so you know... Hold on. I'm sorry, responding to a text. What if I just leave that on the floor? <laughs> Just keep driving. Don't look at it. If I don't look at it, she won't notice. Sorry, I'm responding to a work text now. Okay, better put it away. Okay. So. She also has a ring I'm just noticing. <laughs> just looking. Which maybe had the fascination with the observatory, ouch. Um, because he started drawing about this alien abduction. It's got something to do with feathers. I guess that figure is coming out from the tunnel at the Air Force Base. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is a weird perspective thing. I'm assuming... Hold on. thought something changed.
So yeah, was that just like an out-of-body experience thing, moving on to the next thing, or... Yeah, and now some things start to blur. Who are you, Susan? Okay. Yeah, and then there are just moments like this where they're just... I suppose this is maybe meant to be a dream or something. So things are clashing. You got her. You're the one that dad's involved with. You're the little punk that tried to stab me and has the LSD. You're just there. <laughs> He's up to something. I don't think that's... Maybe... Well, that can't be literal because, you know... His wife would notice if he was just nailing his son's door shut. And again, maybe not a great marriage already because the beds are pushed apart. You know, well, yeah, they have a beds, not a bed. Supposedly there's something we could do to comfort her, but I didn't look into all the details because I didn't think... You know, it'd be so obscure. Usually when we see a red door. <laughs> right. All oh, right, forgot about you, big guy. Hey. Shouldn't have looked away. Okay, so that was just a dream, so that's where it got mixed up. So, you know, I suppose they're trying to come up with a divide where it's not, like, all hallucination all the time. Okay, that guy's just doing stuff. There's something else to find here before we start grabbing the necklace. Oop, there's a thing. No, just glasses. Okay. <laughs> just swipe them. Okay. Why? We got, we stole, uh, you know, a pizza menu and some glasses from her. We're gonna be like the cool lady that just drifts into pizza shops. Okay. Okay, and that's her mom. They didn't make that totally clear in some points. Fair enough. <laughs> no, come on. Right? We're on a mission. Okay. Was she wearing the glasses? Huh. She was not wearing the glasses before. Was she in the cases on the hood of the car? Hmm. Okay, just cosmetic changes? Okay, so the Air Force Base is over there. We're, yeah, by the old mine and the Quail Trail. Quail Trail! Did 
see the hangout spot. Flower we can pick. Okay. We just have a flower now. Okay. So continuing on through here. Yeah, they got car battery hooked for the lights. That's not necessarily what it's made for. It's a can, cigarettes, those punks just punking it out up here. Yo, was she wearing those glasses before? But this is this is a wall here. So was it covered up? Was it caved in? Maybe at some point? Cause, well, oh wait, no, 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 never mind. That's totally a dead end. I got you know our caves mixed up. You okay? Just staring off into space. Take his gun. Okay. Still standing there. Keep on chugging. I'm gonna get so freaking hopped up. Amenger. Okay. Okay, and the morgue. Where's just the bird, I think? I think we went over this last time. Uh. Sorry. So we're going over this again, doing some steps, trying to find stuff. Right. This little f figure. I think that's it. Just glue and tools and that little wooden figure. And a poor little birdo. Which that must have been real. Okay, not Cord, the other guy. So he seems happy about that. No, and I've seen some things like, oh, the you know, bird is supposed to represent Lucas or something. So, like, for that example, it's just like, oh, Lucas got away. Oh, flower. We just have another one. And you two, you, or you three punks. To be fair, you two are the ones that are doing stuff. You've been totally fine. You're just hanging out. You're the good boy based on your sweatshirt. You're some kind of prep ki preppy kid. You two, on the other hand... What's your problem, guy? Could have pulled your knife instead of doing that. <laughs> I 
All right. Okay. So yeah, just back in the office. You sulk over there, you dumb. Sorry, not trying to make the camera go up inside or just looking around. So we got the blade. Just drop it in evidence. Drop a spring-loaded blade in a box. <laughs> Millennium Mall. Dominion Construction, which we've seen the construction stuff um, over at the observatory, which, I don't know, my guess was maybe like this punk was the son of the guy running for mayor. And then just apparently these are drugs. You know, they don't really make that clear, let alone why we steal a piece. So that confused me too. Oh. Decal delight, didn't we? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I guess Anne's into model trains? That's an oddly specific. <laughs> or just at least that's what she's getting. Oh, I didn't notice this. Like. Just takeout and pizza she's been getting. <laughs> I was gonna say, she's just like taking like so, um, uh, sugar packets from the restaurants and just like dumping them all. It's like, I don't need sugar in my coffee. <laughs> so yeah, she's doing a lot of takeout. Lots of stuff delivered. Wait, hold on. Okay, I see the circle icon. And, you know, something's changing, but you never know when it's... Okay, well, we got the f one flower there. Mausoleum. Okay. Whatever that means in this context. So, mainly other collectible things just like to spruce up the room or a couple of areas. That seems to be it. And we picked up two flowers, so why we only see one? Yeah, still unclear why she took why she took the drugs. You know, I can, it would make sense if we had a history of her, you know, doing stuff, but we don't. She just like that's just a thing that happens where she just steals a thing that, you know, can't really tell what it is. Looking doesn't seem like there's anything else to interact with. So we'll just go up front. Sorry, now neighbors' dogs are being loud, so it might be. Okay. So this is just. We're still in a dream. That was not her going to see uh, Maria in the morning, you know, that cap must have been her dad's, is what I'm guessing, Anne's dad, and this is the furnace she dumped the evidence into, which, based on the, the likely assumption seems to be, um, it's, uh, huh, sorry, <clears throat> yeah, that, it seems to imply that, yeah, it was Anne's dad that, um, put, um, or, you know, was the thing that, um, screwed over Maria's mom, so he was the linchpin in that, which, hmm, you know what, and that adds up, oh my god, that actually adds up, because if Cord was still, hmm, yeah, I just realized, you know, it was more like, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, why would Anne's dad randomly be the thing to go after <clears throat> Ortega 
Well, it's because he was given this exactly same assignment. Dad was told, maybe by Cord, depending on how... Well, no, well, maybe, I don't know. So... <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It kind of makes more sense now. It's just sort of like, well, why would, you know, why would he at all be um, involved in, you know, like, what would be the deal in, fi or, you know, Anne's dad going after um, Maria's mom? I forget the name. Um, but now it makes sense. It's just like FBI. He was told to track her because she was causing a stink. And he was the one sent to go find evidence. And he felt really bad about it. It's actually really interesting. It doesn't make that clear, but, you know, it's starting to make sense bit by bit. Judith, that, sorry, it's been a couple of days. So, yeah, it was Anne's dad who went, who was basically assigned to take down Judith. He succeeded, like, we, you know, we can succeed against uh, Maria, but that guilt will always stick around. Okay. So, sorry, I'm skipping ahead. We're just going through, getting information on Judith. Records room. <clears throat> sorry. Okay. It's coming together, bit by bit. <sighs> sorry. I'm suddenly really tired and I really gotta use the bathroom, but let's go for like 10 more minutes. Okay, yeah. Commanding one of our own. Distinguished Special Agent Judah Ortega. Mr. Albert Ortega said he saw us. Yeah, man, I was just not really reading clearly enough. I go like, what is, you know, who is Judith to Maria? And she's the mom. It's so obvious if you just pay attention, unlike what I did. But I'm just like, I'm confused. And honestly, the settings I have to like, you know, expand writing is a little bit awkward. Seems to make wild allegations regarding conspiracy and supported breaches and ethical guidelines, and I'm concerned for her spurious findings might inter might be interpreted uh, were they to reach the public at large. Direct to director, FBI, Cord, maybe, or somebody else at the time. Well, sanctioned by by applied sciences, we're taking as a prediction for unconventional methods. I feel it could be turned to our advantage. Were deniability to be an issue, so yeah, this is kind of like laying out, you know, FBI director, FBI officer from, yeah. So this could have been Cord, depending on how long he's been around. Seems old enough. Actually, might not have been core. Well, hmm. Is that another thought? Okay. So, yeah. Confidential. Washington, Washington. So, yeah. Judith. Um. We we're finding investigations that are. Charges in all courts. Yeah. The recommendation that we should be spent immediately without pay. Special agent status should be remo revoked. Yeah. I'm just checking something. Port made by C. McCarran. Okay. Yeah, Cord. So, yeah, this was way back 1972. So it is Cord behind everything here. Um. Typed by J.D. Oh, wait, no, that's something else. Mainly what I'm trying to find is, you know could approved 
Copies made. Yeah, mainly I was just trying to see if, like, there was a name. Like, if we, you know, if we looked at it closely, will we see, like, you know, Papa Tarver up there? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, uh, Cord McCarran. So, you know, maybe he is the one who, yeah, told Anne's dad to go investigate um, Judith in the first place and by doing that, don't get handsy guy bring home the bacon bring home the bacon which yeah, that he might be construction company it's around the side of the van so yeah, that punk might be the son of that guy starting to make more sense Yeah, now that seems really obvious when you really think about it. Again, this, they do a lot with no dialogue. Okay. So we're gonna go check the place out. The observatory. But, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, maybe Cord McCarran, you know, sent Anne's dad to go investigate Judith. He succeeded, but that's, you know, we're just doing what he did. Um, Cord's giving a minority, um, to tell, or track down the, um, you know, investigate another minority to get them sacked. And we're just continuing the cycle. Because we saw that Anne's dad must be clearly regretful for it, but Anne wanted to try and bury it. At least that's the thought that seems to be. Anne tried to bury it, therefore burn the, hey, another flower, therefore burn the, um, box in the furnace maybe and you know now she's doing the exact same thing to it's going past you know the <laughs> um, problems of the old generation passed on to the younger generation and we eventually just kind of like do the same thing so okay at least that's the one path the other path is not doing that instead you pop drugs for some reason Okay, go a little bit farther, because I really gotta use, use the bathroom. Yeah, this is definitely benefiting from a second playthrough, just like, seeing how things play out, and going over events again. But, you know, it'd also be nice if some of this made sense in the moment as well. Fair enough. <laughs> Creepy. Couple more minutes here. We're almost like exactly to the point where we finished up last time. Right, the um, lock picking tool. Let's take a closer look around a little bit. Wait a second. Nope. Yeah, so it's coming together. Sorry, now certain certain things are starting to click, and, like, when you go by, like, the things that get repeated in-game and, like, the repetition of things, it starts to, like, make more sense. Again, I just kind of wish, like, you know, it was a little more clear. This is a very interesting story, but... Well, and, you know, we're not even to the weird parts yet. This is the stuff that's kind of easy to figure out. We're just gonna get more complicated from here. Because we haven't got to, like, the cultist in white stabbing a bison, or the, you know, or the alien abduction of the boy we're looking for. We haven't got to the weird stuff. Alright, we go to his office in the end of the hall. <clears throat> Do 
Just looking. Just keep my eyes peeled in case anything pops up. I'm trying to find any new things, and I really haven't found anything yet. Okay. It was really important to try every drawer. All right, what was in that box again? <clears throat> okay, so, you know, we're taking a night out. Yeah, she gives us a ring so we don't get hassled. And so just does she just have that on hand just in case, just in general, and she's just helping us out here? Or... You know, they seem to be knowing each other. I can't help but wonder, you know, just based on hair, could he, that guy be like the dad of like the one of the other three punks? Hey, I'm going up on stage messing with y'all. I don't know, just ideas are going through my head, so maybe she just has that ring normally, um, you know, just to like keep guys off her back. She's handing it to us because she's already seen somebody, maybe. Actually, you know what? Ah, uh, never mind, too late. I just had a thought, but never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, was there an option to maybe not put the ring on and... At least he quits trying after that. <laughs> in this again? Right, dead bird in film. So that must have been literal. Maybe. Does she still have a... Okay. No, yeah. The film, which is probably from the camera Lucas used to, you know get the picture of him adultering it, uh, adultering it up. Um, but the bird, maybe that was literal too? Or maybe that was just like a quick mind trick and it really just was the film in there? Because keeping a dead bird in there would be, you know, impractical. So maybe that was just symbolic. Thizday. Distant Chafik. Okay. So, you know, we hung out at, um, Maria's place last night. Nothing crazy, just hung out. Um, yeah. So, and what confused me for a bit was that there was a lot of... Don't mess with that now. Yeah, what confused me is that it just seems like there was a lot of things like, um, you know, uh, um, a, uh, there's a specific word for those, um, you know, uh, um, on rail chairs to help people get up, and I just can't remember. Save our sisters, women strike for peace, yeah. 
This could be wages for housework. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> SES, new left notes. Okay, missed that. Little model of that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, and then this hospital bed and wheelchair. And this confused me. Did I do this last time? I don't think I did. This seems to be just her reminiscing, maybe. Now, this confused me, and by the end of it, I thought, like, maybe, like, it was, like, overlapping things from Anne's life overlapping into things from, from Maria's apartment, and this was not real. No, this is real, because this must have been the state Judith, or Judith was in, Maria's mom, and she, you know, old, weakened, and just unhealthy after probably partially the stress of being found out and not being able to change anything. So maybe that's why, well, you know... She's making the house accessible, but she's no longer around. You know. Hi, one second. Just going over. So. You know, basically like Judith and, um, Judith and, uh, Papa Tarver were both sick. So just checking around. So that's at least what I think is going on this time. We'll wrap up here in a second. We're going to eat breakfast and then we start off talking to, you know, interrogating Mr. Creepy Religious Man. It's coming together. It is. Some of these pieces are start. Well, then again, this is all, again, conjecture. Okay, it was just the film, so the bird was a hallucination. Right. Dark rooming it up again. Not much else to do, so just keep on going. Right, those are chains from a statue. That was, you know, hard to tell what that even was. It was so, you know, indis nondescript. Just trying to see. So this is just stuff Lucas had on his camera. Again, stuff like this I kind of really forget when suddenly you're on an ending drug trip. Yeah. So we got him, but the case seems to be, you know, we arrested him, but adultery is not illegal, so, you know, couldn't really keep him arrested. That's what everyone seems to break down, and, you know, maybe he'll get punished later on for... I imagine that girl is underage, but also it's Virginia, and I don't want to look that, you know, that number up. Oh, hey, another feather. Let's get in here. Okay. No, you get out of here, you gross-ass man. I'm stuck on a chair. Stomping away.
All right, that solves. Well, you know, this is all incidental, you know? Like, they, no one knows yet that, like, you know... No one realizes yet that this is because of, you know, Lucas, why that was even photographed. No one pieces that together. Unless maybe that's a theory in Anne's mind. That's why she drug trips the, um, the situation later. That's one thought. Okay, ending on the last time, last same exact spot we stopped last time. Next time we continue, we will carry on and we will probably get through the rest of the rest of Virginia, Virginia and try and piece more of the story together. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that, this is Tamara, signing off.